Hello friends, Osiris here and in today's video we're going to go over everything you need to know about manipulating the item printer so you can get any item results you want easily in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> Now, we've already covered a few videos on the RNG manipulation of the item printer. They're still relevant, but in today's video, the aim is to go over everything you would need to know if you're coming into this fresh or if you are wanting additional dates and times for any specific item drops to make this as easy a process as possible. Going over the initial setup, how you hit your target times, as well as dates and times for all special Pokeballs, ability patches, level up candies, gold bottle caps, and terror shards essentially everything that you need in game to go out and catch pokemon and train them up also everything in today's video will be time stamped down below so it will make things easier especially if you already know how the rng manipulation setup works you can skip this next section and just go to the required item that you're looking for to hopefully make things a little bit easier for you and also before we get into today's video i would like to also credit anubis over on X as well as Kurt Kofonix for all of the work and the research they've done into this manipulation method of the item printer so the likes of you and me can go and utilize this tool very effectively in game there's also a special shout out to two Japanese players they put a lot of time into the initial research of this they are Stella underscore SS over on X and Ishapoya as well everyone that I've just mentioned in the credits for the research and development of this method Will be linked down in the description below if you'd like to follow any of them on their relevant socials now to start us off you'll need to come to the club room in the blueberry academy and have the item printer unlocked as well as this you will need to have it upgraded so you can access the pokeball lotto which is accessible after the second time you upgrade the item printer and also have access to stellar terror shards which the machine will be able to print once you beat terrapagos in area zero and unlock the Master Ball upgrade of this facility. The specific requirements for upgrading the item printer are something that I'm not going to go into in today's video, but I will link a video up in the top right hand corner if you would like to know a little bit more about that. Now it's been discovered that all of the item printer results are actually predetermined and all based off set dates and times using your Switch system's internal clock. Seed for any specific item drops are generated at the point when the screen fades to black between the club room and the material screen. So knowing this, we can set dates and times to essentially hit specific seeds for any item drops we want in game. Essentially, this is just saving us a lot of time and a lot of materials. Now, most of the time when you're using this manipulation, you're going to be going after activating the Pokeball Lotto or the two times item bonus. For this method, you are also going to need a stopwatch of some kind. You can use something like your phone or if you've got a timer app on your PC, something like that will work alongside it. But you're essentially going to need something to be able to track the time between you confirming the date and time in your switch to when you confirm going into the item printer in game. Now we'll start with an example of how to activate the Pokeball Lotto. You want to stand in front of the item printer and start a conversation with the NPC, stopping on the second text box where you will have the option, I want to print something. From here, hit your home menu on your switch, go down into system settings and into system, and then into the date and time option. Here, make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is set to off and then input the following date and time. The 28th of April 2024 and set your time to 7.38 p.m. Now the target seconds for this specific job to set the Pokeball Lotto up is going to be 18 seconds. If you do this next step right, our reward will be one gold ball cap and activating the Pokeball Lotto. Once you have the date and time input, hover over the OK option and get your stopwatch or timer ready. Then hit OK on your switch date and time, confirming this whilst also syncing it with your stopwatch or timer. After you've done this, come back into the game and wait for your timer to reach your target. The key to hitting your exact target time is clicking A on I want to print something in game so the screen fades to black on the exact target second of your specific job. Now, depending on your switch model, you will essentially have to click A on I want to print something one or two seconds earlier than the target time we have. 
Factors like switch model and physical or digital copies of the game can be factors in your delay time being different. So this is something that you will want to try and work out when you first start to do this process. I know myself, I'm on an OLED switch with a physical version of Pokemon Scarlet. My delay is always going to be minus one second of the target seconds that we'll be going for. So essentially for this example, our target seconds are 18 seconds. I'll be hitting A confirming I want to print something on 17 seconds so the screen turns to black on that 18 seconds if your delay with your switch and your copy of pokemon scarlet and violet is minus two seconds you'll be wanting to hit the a i want to print something on that 16 second window so the screen turns to black on 18 seconds now if you're having trouble working out your delay and you're doing this process and you're not getting the results as you should be, you can use a tool developed by Kafonix called the Item Printer to Gacha. This will be linked in the description below. And because every date and time is converted to a specific seed in game, you can input the seed into the adjacent tab of this tool, which will then show you the results based on the exact second you have hit. Using the minus one or plus one second options on the tool, you can toggle through the results to find out the exact seed and results that you hit, which will help you better determine your delay and when you'll need to actually hit that A button on the I want to print something in game. Also, sometimes you may get a date and time online for a specific item combination and there's no seed there. Well, there is a website that you can use to help you convert this date, time and second delay into a seed and it will be linked in the description below it is the epot converter tool which you'll then be able to put in the year the month the date the time and the seconds and it will give you a seed then you will essentially take this seed and put it into the item printer to gacha tool and it will give you the same results you'll be able to identify which seed you've landed on in game if you're maybe hitting it a little bit too early or if you're just a little bit too late in getting the exact target second in game now if you did everything right in this initial setup you will hit your target time the screen will fade to black on the exact second that you needed to and you'll be taken through into the print job screen from this point you can take your time with everything there is no time requirements at this stage when setting up a print job here for activating the pokeball lotto or the two times item bonus you will ideally just be completing one print job to save your blueberry points and materials so to do this toggle your left and right buttons on your controller and input the required material to complete just the one job if you did everything right in this step and you hit your target seed you will receive one gold bottle cap and after this you will activate the pokeball lotto like i've said if you're having problems with hitting your exact target seed and activating the pokeball lotto or if you're doing it for another one for the two times item bonus just use the item printer to gacha tool to determine what seed you're hitting based on the rewards that you've got in game now with the pokeball lotto set up you want to cancel out of this material screen that you'll be on and don't worry at this stage you won't lose the pokeball lotto bonus that you've just activated now the setup's pretty similar for this next step you want to just put yourself in front of the item printer again and start a conversation with the npc so you are on the I want to print something option. Then again, come into your home menu, system settings and system into the date and time options. And for this example, we'll be going for five beast ball drops. So you'll be inputting the date of 2nd of February 2037 and the time will be 3.57 p.m. with a delay target second of 15 seconds. Now get your stopwatch or timer ready and sync it with your switch at the same time you confirm your new date and time then come back into game and wait for your timer to get to the delay second either one or two seconds before the 15 second target time and hit a to confirm you want to print something when you enter the next screen choose five print jobs this time and then select the right amount of materials for the job and complete the print job if you hit your target time, you will receive five beast balls for this print job. And because each bonus, either the Pokeball Lotto or the two times item bonus, will give you a minimum of 10 print jobs, you can repeat this process once again to get another five beast balls or use one of the alternative dates and times for other drops that we're going to cover in this video to get a selection of other items with the Pokeball Lotto. 
Now, if you are wanting to farm for the other special Pokeball drops using this exact method, the following are all for five print jobs that will guarantee you the maximum specific Pokeballs every time you activate the Pokeball Lotto. Now, if you're wanting level balls and farming level balls, you're going to use the date of the 2nd of August 2057 with a target time of 724 and 45 seconds. Hitting the exact seed that we have from this date and time will guarantee you five level balls every time. So a really good way for farming those specific balls. For lure balls, you can use the date and time of the 21st of November 2057 with a time of 4.28 a.m. and 37 seconds. That's the delay here. But this specific date and time will always guarantee you five lure balls. The date and time for five dream balls is going to be the 17th of November 2038 with a time of 8.05 a.m. and 45 second delay. For five Safari Balls, you're going to need to go for a date of the 2nd of January 2049 with a target time of 1.20 a.m. and 22 seconds delay. For five Sport Balls, you're going to need the 7th of April 2028 with a time of 4.15 a.m. and a delay second of 56 seconds. For five Beast Balls that we've already covered, of course, again, it is the 2nd of February 2037 with a delay time of 1537 and 15 seconds delay. For Master Balls, the max drop that we've got at the moment is for four Master Balls and the date and time that you're going to need for the five print jobs is going to be the 10th of October 2044 with a time of 1120 AM and 14 second delay. For five friend balls, you're going to use the date of the 11th of December 2046 with a delay time of 2.23 and a delay second of 17 seconds. For five fast balls, you're going to use the time of 18th of June 2019 and a delay target time of 5.35 a.m. and a delay seconds of 49 seconds. For five heavy balls, you're going to use the date of the 31st of October 2028 with a target time of 3.17 p.m. with a delay second of two. Now for this, I would put in the time of 3.16 and then have a delay second of 62 seconds. So you're going to be hitting it one or two seconds early from that 62 second delay time on this job because hitting two second delay after the 17 is going to be impossible but doing this will guarantee you five heavy balls every time you do this job now for five love balls you're going to have the 16th of july 2031 with a delay time of 5 29 a.m and 13 second delay with that and five moon balls is going to be the 14th of october 2042 with a delay time of 5.56 a.m. and 33 second delay. Now alongside the Pokeball Lotto, you can also use the same technique set up and guarantee the two times item bonus. This can be used to farm things like ability patches, which you can sell for money. So money farming is a thing of the past, really using this method. Bottle caps, PP max, level up candies and Terra Shards, all of which we will cover in the video today. It's the same set of process as we did for the Pokeball Lotto. Stand in front of the item printer, initiate the dialogue with the scientist NPC. I want to print something option and then come into your date and time option on your switch through your home menu and set up the date and time for the 30th of October 2024 with a time of 12.25 p.m. with a target second delay of 15 seconds. Now, if you do this one correctly, it will give you one ability patch whilst doing the job. And then subsequently following this, it will also set up a two times item bonus. There is another date and time that you can do, which will give you two gold bottle caps and also set up the two times item bonus, which is the 1st of June 2024 with a time of 2.20 p.m. with a target second time of 35 seconds. Each of these date and times will give you high cost items. I like the ability patch one because it means you can farm these whilst also farming other things. 
and it will also always set up the two times item bonus along the way. And once you have the two times item bonus set up in game, you will be doing the exact same method that we did for the Pokeball Lotto. Once it's activated, you'll cancel out of this screen and then position yourself in front of the item printer. Start the dialogue with the NPC character again until you're on that I want to print something option. Then come down into your date and time and all the subsequent jobs for Terra Shards that we'll be covering and other high cost items will be for five print jobs at a time. So essentially when you have that two times item bonus set up, you'll be able to do this twice per setup using the dates and times that we'll be going over. First off, we're going to start with 104 Stellar Terra Shards. For this, you'll use the date of the 11th of May 2044 with a time of 7.56pm and a delay seconds of 47 seconds. For 142 normal Terra Shards, use the date and time of the 21st of May 2005 with a time of 3.30pm with a delay second of 56 seconds. For 148 Fire Terra Shards, you'll use the date of the 5th of August 2054 with a time of 3.55 a.m. and a delay second of 10 seconds. For 140 Water Terra Shards, the date will be the 5th of December 2034 with a time of 5.41 p.m. with a delay second of 2 seconds. So you probably want to set this up again like 5 40 pm and then have delay seconds of 62 seconds hitting it either one or two seconds early depending on your delay in game but that will guarantee you 140 water terra shards as long as you have that two times item bonus active for grass terra shards you'll get 142 with the date of the 31st of march 2004 the time of 2 a.m with a delay second of 57 seconds for 140 electric terra shards you use the date of the 15th of november 2040 with a time of 4 12 a.m and a delay second of 36 seconds for 140 ice terra shards use the delay time of the 8th of november 2018 at 10 a.m with a delay second of 51 seconds 142 fighting terror shards you will use the date of the 25th of july 2025 with a time of 6 12 pm and a delay second of 50. for 158 poison terror shards you use the 3rd of september 2001 with a time of 2.14 a.m. and a delay seconds of 28. For 130 ground terra shards, you'll have the 15th of May 2016 with a time of 2.18 p.m. and 9 seconds delay. For 134 flying terra shards, you'll use the 10th of June 2055 with a time of 6.03 a.m. and 31 seconds delay. For 134 Psychic Terror Shards, use the date 2nd of June 2039 with a time of 2.15 a.m. and 13 second delay. For 148 Bug Terror Shards, you use the date of 29th of August 2044 and a time of 1.04 p.m. with a delay second of 46 seconds. For 130 Rock Terror Shards, It'll be the 9th of September 2046 with a time of 12.48 a.m. and a delay seconds of 46 seconds. For 136 Ghost Terror Shards, you're going to use the 5th of January 2057 and a time of 2.09 a.m. with a delay seconds of 53 seconds. For 146 Dragon Terror Shards, Use the date of the 7th of February 2026 with a target time of 9.55 and a delay second time of 41 seconds. For 144 Dark Terror Shards, you're going to use the date of the 8th of November 2020 with a time of 7.53 p.m. and 56 seconds delay. 146 Steel Terror Shards is the 30th of March 2019 with a target time of 6.49 a.m. and a 9 second delay. And 134 Fairy Terror Shards is the 14th of June 2038 with a target time of 9.11 with a target seconds of 7 seconds. 
For some other useful items using the two times item bonus and also five print jobs, you can get 16 ability patches using the date of the 12th of May 2000 with a time of 10.59 p.m. and a target delay of 28 seconds. For 28 XL and 20 large candies, you can use the date of the 8th of February 2033 with a time of 10.48 a.m and a target second delay of 9 seconds. For 18 PP max per 5 jobs you do, you want to use the date of the 13th of August 2060 with a time of 11.10 pm and a second delay time of 51 seconds. And for 6 gold bottle caps every time you do this job, you use the date of the 10th of June 2000 with the time of 12.26 pm with a delay second time of 57 seconds. Now I've also put together a number of target dates and times for every type of terror shard available in game. These following jobs will guarantee a minimum of 50 terror shards per type per job and don't require the two times item bonus to be set up before. So if you're in a rush and you just need 50 terror shards to change one Pokemon's terror type, these may be helpful for that exact reason. These are all based on 10 item printer jobs at a time, but don't require any bonus. I will just leave a list of the dates and times on screen now, so you can take a look at them here. You can pause the video if you need to, but these might be useful for you in future. These are all dates and times I discovered using the item printer de gacha tool that will hopefully be of some help in game, especially if you don't want to go through the process of always having to set up the two times item bonus before going in and farming for Terra Shards. These dates and times will guarantee at least 50 Terra Shards per type when doing these jobs of 10 at a time. And of course, there are a bunch of other items that you're going to be able to farm for easily with the item printer that we're not covering in today's video. You've got all the evolution items and held items that can be quite useful in game. But a full list of all the items that you can get from the item printer will be linked in the description. You can head over to somewhere like Cerebi that we've linked below to take a look at everything available and then use the item printer to gacha tool to determine specific dates and times for those item drops to get specific ones that you're looking for that we haven't covered in today's video but we've covered everything from the special pokeballs to your terror shards to ability patches to level up candies and everything that you're basically going to need from the item printer that's a high cost value that might be harder to get elsewhere in game but easy to get using this method so i hope you found it useful again a big shout out to everyone involved with the research of this all the socials, like I mentioned at the start of the video, are linked down below. And if you found today's video useful, please do drop a like on the video because it has taken me a lot of time to collate all of this information here and put it together so it's in one place to make things easier for you to take advantage of this facility in game. And if you want to stay up to date with all of our future Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content, do hit that subscribe button as well. It's very much appreciated. But thank you so much for taking the time to come out to the video today. I hope it has made sense. Hope made the whole process process a lot easier for you and give you some specific dates and times that might be helpful for things that you're looking for to get easier in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. With that, friends, thank you for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.